What's up, everybody? Welcome to Quarter Munchers. I am Johnny, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. Uh, last time we left off, we were in space, and we had to get to the space station, which is eight hours away, uh, I'm sorry, ten hours away, according to this. So, um, actually, off-camera, I hit the Starship scanner, and there's a, uh, beacon at a nearby planet, which we are going to get to her. Go toward. Words. I drank way too much coffee before I recorded all of this. So, engage boost. Hold L1 and R1 together to engage. Oh my god! I just hit it. Oh, that's... <laughs> I mined an asteroid by running into it. That's healthy. L1, R1. Engaging pulse drive. Oh, it's like warp mode! Yeah, and that cuts it down to uh, a minute to get to this planet. They don't want this travel to be like Final Fantasy XI's travel. If no one's ever played that game, uh, the game was basically just walking the game with the occasional fight here and there. Um, but I guess if you're into that... Alright, we're inbounding soon. Uh-oh. Refuel pulse engine with, uh, with Thame Unite. Oh yeah, you just shoot asteroids for it. That's better. And that's key because, uh, one of the things you need for the hyperdrive is you actually need a whole ton of that. And I spent, like, three hours walking around a planet on, on my game and only find, like, a little bit of it and forgot that you can mine it from asteroids. So just so you know, don't waste your time. You can just go shoot a few asteroids. Uh, pulse engine... Charge. Alright, let's try that again. Go! That's more like it. Says Neckpin 9 Echo G. And we're almost there. We're almost in atmospheric territory. This planet looks like it's going to be radioactive. Or is that water? I can't tell. Two. One. Pulse engine offline. Planetary interface. Level off. And we're here. Incoming seagull. Se seagull. Signal. Fuck, I forgot how to English. Arrive in 15 seconds to where this beacon is coming from. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Press square to initiate landing. <laughs> Restore point saved. Weather, damp, sentinels, low security. Yes! Flora generous, fauna numerous. So this is a very uh, uh, plant-heavy planet. And what's even better is that the sentinels don't give much of a shit about you. Arrive at Beacon, Waypoint. Incoming signal detected. Okay, that's cool. There's an outpost ten minutes away for a walk. Um, I don't know about you, but I don't have ten minutes to walk since an episode is ten minutes. So, we're going to fly there. Let's get back aboard the bird. Hey, Sentinels. Do you mind if I mine some of this? What is... Oh, is this, um... Heridium. Excellent. 
This does get used, uh, at least in the game that I was playing, as a uh, bit of a um, currency with some of the uh, the alien folk that you get to talk to. Uh, mine were the, uh, the, the Genkar, maybe? I, I, no, that's not what it was. I don't know, I have to take a look at it again, because I haven't... I, I'm awful with sci-fi names. I'm awful with names in general. Um, but they look like the guys from Daft Punk. Alright, we are back in the skies. Uh, it's a minute flight there. Until I engage the boost. I'll be there in 15 seconds. I love how it auto-steers you around certain things, like if you're going to crash into the side of a mountain. So you can't, like, you know, smash into the side of a mountain like somebody famous. Serenya Fields. Undiscovered. And as you discover things, you can actually uh, rename places that you visit. So, uh, I'm waiting for the first person I come across that's renamed something to Omicron Percy I-8. Alright. Here is a save point. I've discovered this place. And the navigational data is coming from inside of this outpost. Let's see what's in here. It's crazy frog people! And it's an oons. <laughs> oons, 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 oons. Interact. What do you got? Uh, sure. The creature awaiting me has the manner of a warrior, but makes no move to attack. Instead, it grunts in a tongue I do not speak, then passes me a slate. With the start, I realize that I can understand the text on it. In disbelief, I try to catch the creature's eye, but has already turned away in disinterest. I suspect this is a mere courier, not the author of this message. The slate also contains the blueprint for new, new technology, a hyperdrive. Blueprint! Instructions on how to build my own path through the stars. This will be invaluable. The warrior thing inspects its weapons, avoiding my gaze, waiting for me to leave. So I need a whole crap ton more heridium to build it and a dynamic resonator. Do, do, do. Alright, so how do I build a dynamic resonator? Do I have the know how to build that? Craft product, no. Warp cell, bypass chip. Um. Oh, actually, wait, before I go back in there, every time you go to one of these outposts, there's usually a whole bunch of stuff on the walls that you can uh, interact with, like the... Trade terminals, or... Oh my god, I want that! Holy shit, how much does this cost? Alright, let's go sell some things, because I want that. I want the big fucking shotgun. Sell items from my inventories. Uh, Gek Charm, yeah. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to sell enough stuff for this until I go mine or build things that I can sell for a shit ton of... Wait, bypass chips sell for that much? Uh, I gotta go searching for more stuff, because I need that gun. I'm not leaving this planet until I have the fucking shotgun. Dude, dude, dude. Look at this fucking thing. Fuck yes. Anyway. Uh, usually there's also terminals in here that'll give you blueprints for new, uh, like, suit upgrades. 
or um, uh, like spaceship upgrades. You know, things like uh, like one thing I found is a thing that you can go on any cold planet. It doesn't it doesn't make a difference. You don't have to worry about refueling your uh, your um, temperature stabilization doohickey doodad bullshits. Um, life support is failing. How do I fix that? Isotopes. Carbon. Oh, what's in here? Shelter. This is where you'll probably find something. There we go. Yeah. Analyze multi-tool tech. Interact. I can get a beam focus. Which means I can mine things faster. What is that? Research specimen. Your standing with a Viking has increased. Alright, so... Let's scan this planet, and what do we need to build this hyperdrive? Alright. Fast and light propulsion drive also starts to attain warp speed and jump between neighboring systems. Users are divided to access hyperdrives to the galactic map. So you need dynamic resonator and heridium. That's probably just a big iron deposit. I will take the plutonium. I saw when I got off the ship... Oh, that was, uh, like, the other side of the planet. Um... The massive heridium deposit that I probably should have just stayed there in mine because I forgot I was going to need it for the hyperdrive. Loot crates. Gek charm. A.K.A. things to sell. Power canister. I don't need health. Uh... Alright, let me get back to the spaceship here. And I think we're going to do some mining on the next episode of Corner Munchers because I've just realized that I am out of time. If you guys like what you see or hear, make sure you like, share, and subscribe here on the YouTube. Follow us on social media on Twitter and Instagram at Corner Munchers and on Twitch at Corner underscore Munchers for our weekly podcast where me and Mitch talk about, well, anything and everything video gaming. Until then, I am Johnny and the arcade is closed.